Don't buy a Toyota Tacoma because it's just too loud. everybody and welcome back to the channel that's right don't buy a Toyota Tacoma because it's just too loud it'll hurt your ears you know it's amazing to me you know especially recently I've had a few comments on the channel about the Tacoma being too loud it's too noisy too much noise and frankly I don't understand that um, and it kind of drives me nuts a little bit. You know, I'm riding in the Tacoma right now. Let us let me be quiet for a second. There, you can hear what it sounds like, right? Now, in all fairness, my Tacoma is going to be a little bit louder because I have more aggressive, deeper treaded tires. I also have a uh, an aftermarket cold air intake, which gives me a little bit of sound. And I have the TRD exhaust. So my Tacoma is going to be a bit a bit louder if you're going to be nitpicky, I guess. Anyway, but I got to say, you know, I drive this and also the Jeep Gladiator. And again, in all fairness, the Jeep Gladiator does have a soft top on it. And there really is no insulation. It's just a, a hard roof, a hard shell, if you will, otherwise. But... I don't see it really being any louder than this truck. And I find the Gladiator, even with its soft top, to be pretty darn quiet. So I really don't understand when people complain about the Glad or the, the Tacoma rather, being too loud, too noisy. You know, they even went so far, that's mentioned a lot uh, in some of the articles and things that I've read that people complain about that. Uh, so it must be pretty prevalent. It's not just a handful of people on the channel. And I'm not picking on you guys. You know, if you're sensitive to that, I get it. I understand. But I just don't understand why. You know, I've been in other vehicles. Probably the quietest vehicle I ever had was an Audi A4. What I'd consider to be a luxury sedan, right? I mean, that thing, you couldn't hear anything, right? It was like you were riding in silence. And I often wonder, the people that complain about the Tacoma being too noisy, I mean, do they never turn the radio on? You know, if I turn the radio on, which I can't do right now because of copyright issues, um, you wouldn't hear anything but the radio. And the other thing there is, is if the truck is, for some reason, too loud, just find your favorite tune and or station and turn the radio up a little bit. I mean, if it really bothers you. Although... I would question as to whether folks that complain about the Tacoma being too noisy even listen to the radio. Because if you're that sensitive to sound, I don't understand how you can function with the radio on, other than maybe um, there's something playing on it that you find uh, soothing or appealing. And then maybe that would make the difference. I don't know. You know, me personally, I kind of like to hear the truck a little bit. Um, obviously, I mean, I have the TRD or the, uh, yeah, the TRD exhaust and the aftermarket S&B cold air intake. So I might not be the right person to be talking about it, but still, I like to hear the truck a little bit. I mean, I don't want any, I don't want any drone. I don't want any, you know, annoying sounds or anything like that, but I like to hear the motor. You know, I like to hear it talk to me a little bit. And then secondly, I want to be able to hear what's going on outside. You know, if uh, if there's a, an emergency vehicle coming, which <laughs> honestly around here, for some reason where I live, um, there are ambulances quite frequently that'll go past, right? And it's a safety thing. I mean, I don't want to be sitting at a light, have my vehicle so quiet that I can't hear anything outside, pull out into the intersection at the same time that an emergency vehicle is going to be going through, right? So it is a, a bit of a safety concern as well. You know, another thing I'll mention, Toyota does listen, apparently. Get it? Listen. Uh, because it's rumored, uh, reported, I don't really know if it's true, that they put thicker glass uh, on the sides to cut down on noise, to reduce noise a little bit. Frankly, I find it hard to believe that they actually did that because that would be in redesigning the space between the uh, window and the moldings on the doors and 
potentially the brackets that the window sits in and it's not just as simple I don't think as to come up with a thicker glass and that's all you have to do so I kind of doubt really that Toyota did that but either way there's a rumor out there that they did uh, to address sound I don't know now I'll tell you one other thing in my truck I've talked about the uh, manual being noisy you can hear it it's clunky you can feel it it's clunky and where it sits down there right down there um, and goes through the uh, bottom of the truck is not insulated if you pull off the shift boot which is just a thin piece of leather really um, there's very little insulation I should say there is some amount very little of insulation around the shifter itself you know around that boot so maybe that's for noise reduction maybe it's for heat reduction or cold uh, insulation I don't know if you live in a cold climate but not a ton and even given that I don't get a ton of sound in here you know if you're driving around in an automatic it's much more sealed up uh, because you don't have to move a stick around right then my manual transmission is and I still don't get a lot of sound I mean you guys that are watching the video you guys and gals you can hear you know the microphone on the uh, camera I'm using is pretty stout it picks up everything really well so you can hear what it sounds like in the cab and I guess I would ask you to leave a comment at the end here and, and let me know other than my talking which a lot of people say I talk pretty loud I guess I do but leave a comment at the end of the video and let me know your take on what you've heard during this video while I'm talking or while I'm out driving around we've been on a bunch of different road surfaces right now we're probably on the loudest uh, road surface that I drive on because it's a very coarse uh, road for some reason I don't know looks like a lot of stones embedded in tar but given the tires that I have and the surface that I'm driving on it's probably the loudest surface that I drive around on so if you're gonna hear a lot of sound and a lot of noise coming from my truck this is probably where you're gonna hear it um, also one one last final thing I want to mention I wonder if the people that complain about such things what they actually think about the sunroof up there because that is an opening right in the cab um, that would let more noise in it's just a piece of glass and if they ever open it because obviously when you open that thing up you're gonna get tons of wind noise same thing if you roll your window down which again would drown out any of the sounds that the truck would make I would think of course there's the rear window as well uh, the sliding window do you guys that are very sound sensitive shy away from those kind of things like a sunroof or the rear slider I'd be curious to know if it really bugs you when those are open or if maybe you use that to kind of drown out the sound from the truck leave a comment let me know also real quick if you haven't before and you're interested check out my other channel it is Rob Motive JT all about my very noisy Jeep Gladiator Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.